Too often when we're talking to customers, they think of vacuum as straight vacuum draw, vacuum suck down, when what we're really trying to do is create gasketing and a vacuum clamp to hold the part. A part that's going to give you trouble on the CNC router, you know because of the size of it. When we turn on this vacuum for this part, we can see that there's movement even with the vacuum engaged. Once we create a gasketed perimeter, just like we do at the table, everyone tells you to get a good seal around your spoil board so you create an airtight surface. Well, we're going to do the same thing, an airtight surface with gasket. A surface mounted gasket, easy to apply, easy to use, easy to shape to whatever size you have, and the difference between the holding power with gasketing and without, not a fair fight in terms of the power that the back vacuum gasket is going to create. Versus when we turn on the vacuum, no gasketing. gasket material, nothing else changes. If you can do that to your parts, you're gonna increase your feed rates, you're gonna increase your tooling life, you're gonna get cleaner edges, uh, and finish out parts much quicker than you did before.